I love my Clearly Basics so much. Um, so much so, I just rant and rave about it, but it really has helped me hands down the most out of everything over the six years. But I do get quite a lot of questions about the products and kind of what to use and when. Protective Moisturiser or the Matte Hydrator? Let's start with the Protective Moisturiser. I've got that on now because I love this one. I love them both equally, but this one is more designed for dry skin. So I kind of play it by ear what my skin's doing that day. And I woke up this morning and my skin didn't seem oily. It seemed a bit dry. So I went with the Protective Moisturiser. It's was originally designed for Roaccutane users. Um, Roaccutane is quite a strong drug if you haven't heard about it in the acne community. And one of the side effects is quite dry skin and dry lips. And I've seen lots of people suffer with this. So this was designed for them because it's not irritable. It's very calm and soothing light formula. It's designed not to clog your pores. It won't do that. It won't kind of add to the problem very calming soothing formula that will just help your irritated dry skin so when I woke up this morning and my skin was dry I knew this one was the one to grab but if you know you suffer more with dry skin every day then this would be your daily go-to one um, if you notice I don't have any like highlighter on I do have makeup on because I felt like it today but I've got a really nice glow to me and it's not grease or oil or like shine it's purely from this this protective moisturizer gives you a nice bounce and glow to your skin which is really nice when you want to go makeup free as well i've done that before where i just put this on after the lighting up and i've got to have a nice glow to my skin so it's very very good to sit under makeup as it is now so <laughs>